Now what I did is I just counted the number of turns it took to get down to the bottom on this. So you put it back in the same place. What I got was four full turns. Say it never hurts to take a lot of pictures. Well, these nitro floats, I always replace these with new ones. Over time, uh, they tend to absorb gasoline and. Uh, It'll act just like a uh, float, a uh, brass float that's had a hole in it. It filled with gas, gets too heavy, and then you start flooding out. So, my practice is to replace them every time. needle kind of fell out. Of course we'll replace that. Now the seats, you want to get a screwdriver or something that will um, go clear across. What you don't want to do is chip these things. It's not so much these won't work, but it's the chips you don't want to get back in the carburetor. Let's see, I've made, I have this screwdriver here, and I, this big one, and I ground it uh, just so it fits just about right. It goes all the way across. Does a good job of taking these out and putting the new one in, of course. And you will notice that uh, it has a metal washer. There will be a check ball in this, underneath this bolt here. That spring went down there. Now you'll get a new check ball in the kit. Now you want to be real careful of this thing. This is your throttle position sensor assembly. And you can see where this, uh, the metal's been peened over to hold it down. And uh, we want to be really careful not to damage this thing. Uh, people beat on them and whatnot. I've seen them, they're just terrible sometimes. Have to be replaced. Uh, these are your jets down here. Um, we'll take out in here in a few minutes. But uh, this here, uh, I use a little, see it will move down. All it's holding it in is this little piece of metal, and uh, I'll use a little Dremel tool.
Just get that little piece off there and it comes right out. There you go. reef on these jets too hard when you put them back in. These were just right. There's a special tool for taking these out. You probably won't have it, so I'm just showing you the alternative. That's pretty much it on that side. Flip it over here and we will uh, take the throttle body loose. And these were just snug. They weren't very tight at all. And there you go. There's the throttle body. We'll check the uh, shafts and uh, make sure they're not wore to where they'll leak. This one seems to be okay.
And there's the uh, choke assembly. All in one piece. Now I'll take a snapshot of this. Because I'm going to take it apart to clean it. And a view of it so I remember which way the levers go. Of course, you could just clean it just like that if you want to. Okay. And there we go. Basically, that's it. We'll put this in an ultrasonic cleaner, clean it up, and then we'll assemble it.